Hey, Keeper Crew, on today's episode, we're going to be discussing something small, something Scottish, and something immortal. Check it out. There can be only one! Hey, Keeper Crew, on another episode today, we're going to be looking at this piece right here, one of my more recent pickups from FaxCon in Ghent, Belgium, a couple of weeks ago. This particular piece, as you can see, Highlander Connor McCloud action figure. Comes with the figure, the katana, and the book written by Brenda from the movie. Um, card art is all right. Uh, it's animated for whatever reason. I don't understand that decision. But uh, instead of using a picture of Christopher Lambert, all of the likeness is fairly decent for an animated uh, an animated picture. Here you can see uh, we got Ramirez here, the Kurgan. Connor, and I don't remember who that guy is. Interesting. Uh, on the back of the card, we're going to get... Uh, let's get that glare out there. We have the con back of the Connor McLeod card. Um, description reads, Connor McLeod's first battle was in 1536, facing the Kurgan, an immortal warrior. Defeated by a fatal chest wound, Connor experienced an unholy revival from certain death forcing Clan MacLeod to exile him for heresy. Wandering the Scottish Highlands, he met his mentor, an Egyptian immortal called Ramirez. When the Kurgan returns and kills Ramirez, Connor retrieves his legendary Masum... Uh, Masumani? Let's just say Katana. Rece <laughs> retrieves his legendary Katana and traveled the world until 1985 in search of knowledge and training. Preparing for the rematch with the Kurgan to settle the score of a millennia, there can be only one. As you can also see, uh, you can pick up the Kurgan action figure as well from the same thing. Uh, you'll notice it's also got the animated animated uh, drawing here of the Kurgan. He's got his sword and uh, that helm that he wore in the first battle. So this is kind of a, kind of a neat piece that I picked up. Um, I wasn't expecting to find a Connor McCloud action figure at FaxCon in, in Belgium. But not only did I find one, I bought uh, a decent carded example. It's not perfect, it's not great. But I bought one from the scratch and dent section as well. So I also have the loose version of this figure. Comes with a stand as well. So that's not included on the, on the card, but uh, here we have the figure in his blue jeans and white and his white shoes. We have the book right here. Uh, it's usually how I display it. The katana, I think, is a little short um, for the figure in scale. Could have been just a hair longer, I think, but I'm nitpicking at this point. But regardless, uh, this is a cool piece to put on my desk. I have another, um, another Highlander piece if I somehow run across Christopher Lambert. And I can get that signed along with the sword, which is kind of been my Eleanor, if you get the reference. I have tried to get that sword autographed by Christopher Lambert four different times, and each time it has failed. Uh, he was at Amsterdam Comic Con, and they wouldn't let me bring it. Uh, he was at FaxCon a couple years ago, and I was working with them, and... It fell through for whatever reason. Uh, security said I couldn't bring a sword, yet in the wrap-up video, there's somebody with a big metal sword getting autographed. It pissed me off. And then two times he's been announced at, in Vienna Comic Con, and, well, uh, one time Vienna Comic Con was canceled, and the second time he didn't even show. So this sword, getting autographed by Christopher Lambert, has been my unicorn, my Eleanor. And uh, maybe one day. But, anyway, in the meantime, I got this cool figure to play around with. Uh, and I'm going to dig the hell out of it. I love the Highlander series. I love the Highlander movies. Um, I'm just a huge fan. Um, well, not Highlander 2. Let's not talk about Highlander 2. So, anyway, that's what I got for you today. Hope you come back for another one. Thanks for watching this one. And have a great day, Keeper Crew.